day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. To God be the glory for all the good things he's done in our lives. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Love you. Now, you know, we... I, I hope you enjoyed part A, part B, and part C. And what I tried to do is uh, my intent was to uh, take all those scriptures, I mean, all, <laughs> all the studies, break them up in segments and schedule them out uh, throughout the week to come up on uh, uh, YouTube. So I, I hope those who subscribe, and I do ask all of you, try to subscribe. You know, I got some people, I, I, I do the video that I send out on the phone. Uh, and then there's some people I do send out on Facebook. But I'm telling you, if you subscribe to it, you'll get it when it's done, when it's scheduled, and you'll get it consistently. And that's what you want, right? When I can consistently get the uh, the, the, the studies. Uh, therefore, I put them on the on YouTube, schedule for publish. I try to do it, if, you know, if I can do it on, on Sundays, then I, I ain't got to worry about them, except for to put them out on those, those, those people I send out on the phone personally, or those I put it on Facebook. But for you, hey, Subscribe. Uh, yeah, I think you enjoy. And it's all about being real. And also, you're also welcome to come and uh, participate in our Bible studies anytime. But I, I'm really all about trying to figure out how we can get the kingdom of God to operate in our life. And what does it mean? What is the kingdom? What does it mean? What, what does it mean about being the kingdom? Well, it means being the opposite of the world system. What does that mean? Do we stop and abandon the world system? No, you operate in the world system by trusting and being led by God and not allow the world system to have things that causes you to compromise on the principles of God. And I like this part we talk about today is it's about serving. In, in 1 Samuel, we was dealing with chapter 8, where the children of Israel wanted a king. And Samuel, when he prayed in, in part C, I talk about the fact that Samuel went there and prayed to the Lord and said, what, what do you want me to do about this? These, 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 these people want a king. They don't want a judge anymore. They, they want to do that. And in verse 7 of 1 Samuel chapter 8, uh, verse 7 said, the Lord said, the Lord said to Samuel, hearken unto the voice of the people and all that they say unto thee. For they have not rejected thee or you, but they have rejected me that I should not reign over them. And see, that's what some of our studies have been very consistent about, is when people start focusing on the world to reign over them, the flesh to, to operate, uh, reign over them, or, or, or the system in this world to reign over them, a system that doesn't care, a system that only try to go for me, me, and me, opposed to a system that says, we serve you. We construct it to serve you. All the institutions that we have is to serve you. We have a police department. We have a fire department. We have doc doctors and nurses. We have banks. We have, we, we have restaurants and all that stuff. It's all designed to serve us. But if it's not, if it's serving only on a profit, and out of the love. You know, successful businesses are the ones that care about its customers and its people. And that's what the kingdom of God is about. So he, God says here in, 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 in 1 Samuel chapter 8, he said, uh, but go ahead and tell them what it means. But he says right here, and look at this, <clears throat> verse 8, 7, 8, verse 8, according to all the works which they have done since the day I brought them out of Egypt. Egypt is a representative of bondage. They were slaves for over 400 years. Even until this day, wherewith they have forsaken me and serve other gods, so do they also serve, uh, say, unto thee. They want to be served by the world system because it seems like it's a consistency. But in reality, it's a destruction. And it turns to destruction. And we got to watch out for that. And I want you to understand. We, we, we not, the world system, let us learn to be servants in the world system and not trying to get the world system to serve us. Let us love and serve our children. This is Father's Day for fathers. Serve your wife. Christ said that 
you want to be great, be the servant of all. Amen? All right. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. See where I'm coming from. Because I think it's really going to make an impact in your life. and make an impact on mine. Amen? All right. I'll check you later. God bless. Bye-bye. Uh, uh, dealing with the protesters, uh, the, there was a call by some leaders, leadership, to dominate the street. Remember that one? You that was that a, one? Dominate. I approved it. I approved it for that. <laughs> I want you to leave alone. I feel, we, we got it. We see it. Because <laughs> the problem is that I, I think some people uh, 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 are listening and I see sometimes you get a little flag on our videos and be, be respectful. Don't, don't, don't defend people. I'm just saying you see it. I, I just, well, you know, I, I'll say though, but honestly speaking, honestly, to lie to a person should be offensive because the end result of it is that they're not going to benefit from the conversation. The reality of it is, is that our president is putting people's lives in danger that's unnecessarily so. And, and, and I'll say this, it's not him, it's the spirit that's working through him, because the devil hates white Man. people too. And Amen. white people got to realize that the devil hate them. He's trying to kill them as well. So I remember Hitler, he, at the end of his regime, he was coming against the German people. Yeah, he wanted they, blonde hair, blue eyes. They were not worthy to, to win. Right. You know, they, they weren't, they weren't, and, and it, I mean, they were dying in wholesale. At his unctions, he had taken, he had taken positions in with the military, caused them to make moves that were just off, just crazy. Right. And they followed him into destruction, and then he blamed them for being destroyed. So we're seeing the same kinds of things take place. I'm not angry with our white brothers, and I'm not angry with the president. Well, I'm, I feel sorry for anybody that would follow the devil. Because the devil can't love you. There's no love in him. But well, the thing about it, so the, the videotape you saw where, like you say, you saw the 75 year old man or whatever the age was, yes. knocked down by what we called is to protect and serve. We we saw, you saw when, when they moved the people away for the photo ops, I saw, I don't know about you, I saw some white people get hit. Oh, Back yeah, man. <laughs> oh, yeah. I saw him. They killing everybody. <laughs> but what what it does though is it paints a picture of saying this. What you what you and it really brought it to light. What you allow for something to happen to a a group of mankind, man, people, yes. right? It, you may want to sit there and say, "Well, it's only going to happen to the people of the color." No. But but that's not the truth. What it does is once I get permission to operate in excessive force based on color, you're really giving me eventually the permission to operate in excessive force based on ideology, based on what orders were given to me. And it based doesn't on matter. Based it doesn't on matter. So that copy that one uh, Australian reporter, there was yeah. That joker, that you saw that joker, he came around that corner. The man is sitting there filming behind the wall. And then, you know, he's filming the protest. That joker walked, that cop walked around that, when he came around that wall, saw that camera. He saw the camera. And he saw the guy was white. <laughs> he didn't care. He slammed that man. And then even the white woman that was with him, he hit that woman with a baton. Yeah, the point I saw him knock a woman down, I saw trying him. to get him to move. Yeah, she tried to get up. They knocked her back down again. That's like, how can she get out of the way when you keep knocking her down? You but the that? crazy thing is, these people are are identified. You can look at the video. The people who don't need to be uh, uh, in these positions as as cops and 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 whoever else they had out there that were in riot gear, right. they could point out everyone that need to be fired. Yes. Because if they, if they showed hostility Come on now. and violence toward them people, yes. when all they had to do was just, you know, you go ahead and move. Yeah. That's all they had to do. They done shot the tear gas. Fire, you know, and fire just bullets. And firing and bullets. Yeah. So just, just let them move back. They were moving, but this is the other thing. What? 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 <laughs> These 
cops yes quitting yes. because they cannot choke <laughs> a person oh, to death for or commit <laughs> violent <laughs> acts toward humanity yes they're gonna quit and then we said that's them all i see now <laughs> a man of color that's what i see now I know that people see right. that, okay, they're protesting that they're being held accountable. Yes. But I'm like, look, look, man, we don't get to quit black. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> you know, when, when you think that because a few black people commit crime, right. that all black people are criminals. Exactly. Or you treat But you got white, I mean, you got cops committing crime, and we say these cops are bad, and you say not all cops are bad. It's just a few bad ones. Why can't they say that toward black folks? It's just a few bad ones. Come on, brother. You don't yeah. hear that because they're not taught that. Exactly. And one of the things I also noted was the trend, the difference between 1960s protest civil rights movement where the dogs, the water, uh, the cannons, the baton were beating on just black people. Yeah. 2020, we got to beating on white people. Anybody who opposes. Exactly. And that's the point I'm saying is if you, if you, you all you're doing it when you sit there and try to pretend that you're just saying I'm only going to do it for this category. That's not true. Because see, there's only one category of man. Man. A man, all men, he said, God, regardless of, he said, man were created in the image of God. He yeah. didn't say man was created in black and white and yellow, and they all got a different image. They all have the image of God. And when you get permission to hurt the image of God, just because of color, it doesn't stay there. It, it, it moves to all mankind. Yeah, it does. And, 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 and huh? you notice that even some of the people that perpetrated the criminal act were, they were black people involved in, what's the name of death? Yes, sir. Black people in the shooting, the, 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 the two kids that were beat up in Atlanta. Right. These guys were not white guys. Yeah. You know, so I know I very seldom mention, but I have a white friend, I had a white friend here in Warner Robins who was killed by a white cop. Uh, and that never, never that well, you won't see that in the news. They, 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 the his news. father called him to help him contain his son. When he got there, his son, they killed him. Yeah. Um, and that don't, you don't hear that news. But so, you know, so, you know, Georgia, Georgia Tech, remember this Georgia Tech? The boy had some little small one inch le or less knife. That was happening about four or five years, maybe three years ago. The boy got shot in Georgia Tech. He had a knife. You remember that? Anybody remember yeah, that? Yeah, I remember. It looked like yeah. a butter knife from when I look at it. Yeah, yeah. And, and, and they shot that boy. Yeah. They shot that boy in, in Arizona that was crawling on the floor. The man said, come on over he, and, 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 and crawl to me. And he got his AR-15 or somebody who has, you see the hands on the crawling to him. Because he put his hands back here, and he probably, cause you know, you hurt your arm, you're tired, especially you don't work out, right? Yeah. You probably stretch a little bit. But they say, no, it looks like he's going for a gun. So they shot him. Or not, yeah. hey, that cop shot him and got away with it. He was a white dude. It was a white guy. And a girl? The young boy was a white teenager. He got shot. So, the, the, that, if that's the... You know, right now the camouflage is that it's a black and white thing. It's, it's not. God, it's the sons of darkness and the sons of light. The church is the one that's really getting duped, I believe, sometimes because we have not yet coalesced. We've come together as a body of believers, both black, white, Asian, whatever, to say that this is the devil. And 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 and, and not even say that, but to just continue to praise God in, in, in unity with one another. I addressing Satan's behavior is going to be a really busy and confusing kind of a, you know, pursuit. I think but I'd be able to- If I be lifted up, I would draw them in to me. So what has to happen, I think, right now, in order to save the United States of America, and I say this as an entity operating within the side of the United States of America, because we are truly members of the kingdom of God, primarily, 
But in order to save the nation that God has allowed us to be stationed in, we have got to bring unity among the people. Well, you know, I think, I think, I think, the, Ellen, I think the principle you said we saw early came out of this, brother, as you kind of get it to us, to change, to go, learn to go to the hierarchy of God use, which is if you're great, then the pyramid is this way. You're serving yep. everybody. You become a servant of all. That's in the kingdom, the right? Greater, the greater you want to be is the greater you want to serve everybody. The more people you can serve. Yes. So so we so we need to be able to get that principle. I think that's gonna at least right out of this discussion today, is you want to be a servant of all. Yep. If you want to be great. But you want to be a servant in the kingdom of God, period. Meaning you served like I like brother Asa brought out, and you did too, Elder said the fact is. We change our children. That baby comes into this world. We get up in the middle of the night. Not I talk about mothers and fathers. Uh, nope. Get up in the middle of the night. We make sure that a child has milk. We make sure that child is changed. We make sure that child get an education. We make sure we warn and teach that child how to live. You know what I mean? You are servants. Yeah. Fathers, and you know what's fathers what? are servants. You know how they call it dead me dead is the ones who don't provide? Yeah. Right? Lord, yep. See, because he's not serving. He's 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 going to be served. He goes somewhere else to get served. Mm -hmm. Instead of responsibility is I'm a servant to my children. I'm a servant to my wife. Yeah. I would you work those hours. You know what I mean? You you provide for your family because you're served. And you feel good when you serve, don't you? Yeah. That's what you've been built for. You built for that. Yeah. <laughs> That's what you built for that. You know, and that I, kingdom will be sustained because the power will be distributed equitably. The resources will be distributed equitably. Yeah. You know, everybody will have something because nobody. The only reason people are dying of hunger you know, in the world right now is because somebody's hoarding the food. Come on now. People are hoarding the food because they're trying to control something. Come on. That's what happens when mankind gets in the picture. We start falling into the world system. There's a distribution of power and, and resources that just is unequitable. Right. It, it, it won't be distributed solely because of our hearts. That was the issue. The issue became the condition of our hearts determine which system that we're well, part of. And what he says to us is come out of that system. Come out of that system. I have become yeah. me, get into the kingdom of God and experience the true what joy, uh, uh, prosperity, the, the health, all of this is in the kingdom of God. And I know sometimes it seems though we talk about we, we, we avoid what's happening in the world system. Y'all give me a second, I'm gonna be quick with this. But we have to show the contrast. We do. What we're looking at in, in the supreme reign right now is a person is an individual who might not have the knowledge of God and the kingdom of God concept in his heart. If he does not have that and he has the influence that he has, the the, the great amount of influence that he has, he is gonna inherently apply power in, in the wrong manner. Yeah. His application of power is gonna hurt somebody because he doesn't know how to apply it in such a way that it's gonna benefit everybody that have impact. Yeah. <clears throat> so my prayer, and I mean my sincere prayer, is that that person who sits in that supreme position, regardless of if it's the United States of America, any other country, that they come to know who Jesus is. Well, you know, Elder, Elder to his leadership. Well, let me let me interrupt you on that. The fact is that when we we as a as as a body of Christ ministries anyway Amen. I'm talking about from Catholic and all the other denominations too is we incorporate the world system into our ministry yep. which once again brings in that hierarchy reversal opposed yep. to servant Pope you are the servant of yep. everybody we want to serve the Pope, I mean, I'm just so I'm just using oh. an example. Same thing as some of these other big mega ministries, same as probably even the smaller ministry. We want to serve them opposed to them being the servants right. of us. They, we 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 bring in the world system. No, oh, him. That's where you see where people, even when I was reading this first Samuel chapter eight, 
Samuel was a good man. Samuel was listening to God. But Samuel, using the world system, brought use hierarchy, inheritance. Your sons are your are your you know part of your system. And they became corrupt. They became perverted. The people saw that. They said, I better go to the world system then. The kingdom of God, the ministry, the body of Christ must preach the gospel of said servanthood. If you're about servanthood, they don't know it. then you're missing the point of the kingdom. Yep. The kingdom comes not by observation. It's revealed from within. It's revealed from within. And when you serve people, then you see a difference. I remember Addison one time when he first started coming out of ministry, we sit there and I was giving, you know how I remember Elder, I poured the drinks out and giving the people. And he said, you, you remember that when you said, I can't believe this man is serving me. <laughs> That's how it works, right? This man, this man, uh, he don't provide for the place and everything else. He's asking me, what, what, when you want to drink? <laughs> you see what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. But it was noted. You know that? You noted it. The, Differences. Yeah. We can't incorporate. It was a world. big difference. It's yeah, a big it difference. We it, we got to learn to it be. It was a big difference. It was exactly what I what God God gave me. It was. <laughs> it was what I prayed for. Right. Because and, that's that's what God wants us to be servants. And when Jesus did watch the servant speed, that was the example they were showing. Oh, oh, you know whoa. what was what was awesome about that? I was I was meditating on that. Yep. This is uh, I guess it's a little off subject, but I mean, well, not because we're talking about Christ. Uh, what does the feet represent? That's the Lord. That's it. That, that's the, the gospel. Yeah, I like that the gospel. So he had to prepare their feet for the gospel. Oh, he said, wild. the rest of your body doesn't need washing. Wow. Your body needs the gospel. Yes. yes. I didn't thought about that. And then I like the fact, I look at the fact is that the feet is, is you the know, like, is it, well, yes, company, that's one thing. It's, it's uh, if you think about hierarchies, right? Yes, at the bottom. The bottom. <laughs> In the boo-boo. <laughs> he said, he said, if y'all don't let me wash your feet, I have no, have no part of me. Yeah. I can't. He said, I'm serving. I'm I'm going down to the lowest, what you call it, comely, uncomely, or the lowest part of your body. Yep. I, I'm gonna wash it. Yep. This is the same, this is the thing that you walk in dirt, you walk in mud, you walk yeah. in poop. You are this is the this is the most valuable thing we need, but but at the same time, it is the lowest. Oh. Yep. Yeah. Remember they throw a shoe? Remember in, in, in uh in the children of Israel as well as the Arab nations, when they want to insult you, they throw a shoe. They take their shoe off their feet. Is that where my mama got it from? And throw it at you. One point I hit me with it. You beat me with that that, that shoe, wouldn't you? <laughs> Girl, yeah, she was quick with the shoe, man. <laughs> in other words, you know, and you ever notice somebody if somebody ever beat you with a shoe, they mad. They yeah, off. you would have been mad oh, yeah. a lot. <laughs> and, and look, they don't even sit there and say, This has hurt me more than hurt you. No, <laughs> that's, that's they just hurt you. Places, <laughs> that hurt you. Yeah, you with you. Yeah. <laughs> I hurt you. I'm gonna take my shoe off my feet because I'm upset with you. Amen. Uh, so, so I, I like what you brought up. You brought, at least for me, I like the fact that it's that this servanthood. Is what what really is the kingdom system, yeah. opposed to the the uh, world system, and that's where racism comes from. It comes from a, a world system right. that yeah. tries to subordinate mankind. Somebody. Yep. When you have king, it tries to subordinate people. He that's why he was telling them. He said they didn't reject you, Samuel. They rejected me. Yeah. So give him, give him the king, give him the king. Matter of fact, if you're mind, I'd like to finish that too, because to, I want to see what he was, he was telling them about, okay, if I give you a king, this is what's going to happen, right? So, 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 Al, to read that for us, one second. Let me show it to you. Let's, let's talk about this king. <laughs> 
that they, they wanted to have. But but you know, we take a consideration that we had a choice between Pee Wee Herman and, and The Rock. Who would we choose as a hero? <laughs> Ain't too many people going to be with him, man. <laughs> not, 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 not too many. Not too many. I think the question, the question is, which one of them is serving? If you're talking human, human what you call his name? Pee, Pee Wee Herman, yeah. I didn't see him serve nobody. Yeah. I know he didn't serve nobody. So there was no choice. Well, also, The Rock, he was at the box. So he saw what being a servant was like. He yeah. knows. Yeah. Yeah. He, he, yeah, he, yeah. He, he had lived that. He used to live in his vehicle. Yeah. In his own. So, so and he now, can identify with that. So he, he has an identification world. and he has compassion. Yeah. Yes. Build on his experience. Yes. But says we have a high priest who can, can understand the, the, the weaknesses, our infirmities. Because he suffered likewise in all case, all ways he was tempted, the same way we're tempted. So right. he knew. But yeah. unfortunately, there's some people who sit in political positions who haven't had the benefit of that. They don't know what it's like to be at the bottom of the room. Right. If you ever so, know, like, if you're talking about Peter Herman and, and Rock, you, you at least feel that Rock has a value, a particular value, a potential value of protecting you. you ever, you ever thought about that? You know, yeah. his power. He can protect you. That's what you're thinking he can do. He, we, he there's no, you, I, you, you try to, <laughs> where, where's the, look, look, we have to stand in his stead. <laughs> <laughs> like, where's the value? What do I want to get from him? Yeah. Yeah. And, and that's how, that's how, when we look, when we, when we walk carnally, that's how we see it. We, that's what how we see, see it. to be strength, that's what we think strength is. Yeah. And that's why a lot of people won't come to Christ because Christ doesn't buff up. They, well, well, I, I, see, I seen the fact is though when we we do I don't know, I don't want to say just just the strength we see we honor heroes who sacrifice themselves for the common good. Yeah. We we honor the firemen. Yeah. We will yeah. honor a police officer that, that goes into a burning building. Uh, we honor a soldier that jumps on a grenade so that he can protect his resident brother you know brothers. Amen. We, we honor that. And, and so we have the sense, you know, we brought it, we brought, we have the sense of good and evil in us, right? We have it. And, and what we, what we did, we didn't understand the principle all the way back in Genesis was that God had a relationship with them. God walked in the cool of the day to talk to them. They were torn and deceived because they said, if you eat of this fruit, You'll be, your eyes will be open. You'll be just like small G's. You want, you wanted to lord over other people. Cause what was the benefit? I didn't even see the attractiveness of it. You want to be like God, but you still be a small G. The devil ain't called a small G, right? So were they, were they actually small G's before the fall? That's the question. They were, they were. Yeah. Really? The only thing he he, did, he offered them nothing that they didn't have. They were the god. They, they were the god of this this world. He gave he where well, they had dominion over this world. Right? Yeah, he until said, they gave it to him. <laughs> he says the dude. They didn't gain dominion through he the fall. Dominion. He, he gave dominion over. They were they were a system. God created that system. Yeah, man, yeah. not to be dominion over man, but dominion over this world. Yeah, protect it. Right? Yep. So do it, but Rest to protect it. It was not meant to be for you to destroy it, right? You know that. That's not what it's meant for. 